Now this bone on the posterior side of the skull, as well as the inferior down here, is called your occipital bone. The occipital bone is located posteriorly and then inferior. This is the bottom of the skull down here. If you notice, you have this very large opening. This large opening is called your foramen magnum. Foramen meaning whole, magnum large. That large opening is the largest in the cranium. It's where the spinal cord goes. Now usually coming off of each side here and here, we can see two small openings or canals. You can kind of see how the probe is going through it. That opening is going to be the hypoglossal canal. So the hypoglossal canal. So you can notice a little bit right there is the hypoglossal canal. Now just below, because remember this is the inferior view, just below the hypoglossal canal, on each lateral side of the fram magnum, is going to be your occipital condyles. This smooth patch and this smooth patch. Now the occipital condyles, condyle typically is going to be a smooth surface because usually condyles are where bones articulate. So these are the occipital condyles on the lateral side of the fram magnum. If we look more towards the posterior side, which is up here, you can notice how there is a protrusion of bone. That protrusion is called the external occipital protuberance. So this is the external occipital protuberance. Then running along it, you can kind of see this line. That line is called the superior nuchal line. Well, if we have a superior, we should probably have an inferior. Superior up, inferior is down. This ridge of bone right here is the inferior nuchal line. So we have the superior nuchal line with the external occipital protuberance and the inferior nuchal line coming across.